हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट फॉरेस्ट इको सिस्टम द फॉरेस्ट टाइप्स ऑफ इंडिया द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आर द फॉरेस्ट कवर ऑफ इंडिया द मेन फॉरेस्ट टाइप्स ऑफ इंडिया द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ डिफरेंट फॉरेस्ट टाइप्स करेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड कंपोजिशन ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट सो फॉरेस्ट इन इंडिया आर वेरी डाइवर्स have a long evolutionary and geological history they occur under diverse climatic and geographic conditions champion and said classifies india's forest into 16 major types and about 221 subtype groups which have been described in the revised survey of the forest type of india which was published in 1968 by champion and said The classification of forest types is based on climate, physiognomy, species composition, phenology, topography, soil factors, altitude, aspect and biotic factors. The forest cover map of India is shown in the year 2015. The forest cover was 20 1.34% of the total geographic area of the india very dense forests having canopy of 70% or more accounted for 2.6% 61% of the forest area the moderately dense forest where the canopy cover is 40% or more but less than 70% they account for 9.59% of the forest area the open forests where the canopy is 10% or more but less than 40% formed 9.14% of the forest the scrub forest where the canopy cover is less than 10% were only 1.26% so in this diagram it is the pie diagram of the forest cover of india they have shown the very dense forests 2.61% moderately dense forest 9.59% open forest are uh, 9.14% described 1.2% in this table the major forest types of india have been described the group 1 is the tropical and wet evergreen forests group 2 the tropical semi evergreen forest group 3 tropical moist deciduous forest group 4 littoral and swamp forest group 5 tropical dry deciduous forest group 6 is tropical thorn forest group 7 tropical dry evergreen forest group 8 subtropical broadleaf hill forest group 9 subtropical pine forest group 10 subtropical dry evergreen forests group 8 montane wet temperate forests group 12 is himalayan moist temperate forest group 13 himalayan dry temperate forest group 14 the subalpine forest group 15 the moist alpine scrub and group 16 is the dry alpine scrub so this uh, classification of the forest types is based on champion and said 1968 we are discussing group 1 the tropical wet evergreen forests these forests are dense and show 30 to 45 meter tall canopy structure with four or five strata rainfall in the range of 2000 to greater than 3000 mm per year diversity of tree species high in these forests these forests are discontinuously distributed mainly along the western ghats the northeastern india and the andaman and nicobar so continuing with the group 1 tropical wet evergreen forest discussion we have the northern wet tropical evergreen forest and the southern wet tropical evergreen forest so the northern wet tropical evergreen forest they occur in the upper assam northern bengal arunachal pradesh whereas the southern wet tropical rainforests occur in western ghats andaman and nicobar the northern wet tropical evergreen forests are composed 
of trees of the family Dipterocarpaceae. There are bamboos, palms and canes, climbers are present and ground cover is of aerogreen shrubs. In southern wet evergreen tropical forest, they are found in the western Ghats and Diman and Nicobar, composed of Dipterocarpus and Hoopia. Bamboos and canes, they occur in specific locations, epiphytes are present. So, the western Ghats is an outstanding universal value. A significant characteristic of the western Ghat forest is the exceptionally high level of biological diversity and endemism. It is one of the world's eight hottest hotspots of biological diversity along with Sri Lanka. The forests of western Ghats include some of the best non-equatorial tropical evergreen forests of the world. At least 325 globally threatened IUCN red data list species occur in the western Ghats. Now, we will discuss the group 2, the tropical semi evergreen forests of India. These occur in areas adjoining the tropical wet evergreen forests and form a transition between the evergreen and moist deciduous forest. The lower canopy is evergreen, whereas the canopy species are deciduous for short periods during the dry season. Tropical semi evergreen forest type comprises 13.79 percent of the Indian forest types. Continuing with this group 2 discussion on tropical semi evergreen forests, these are dense multi strata, rainfall is moderately high, the canopies are not continuous, and the species richness is lower as compared to evergreen forest. There is the presence of the buttress stems in the case of both evergreen and deciduous trees, for example, Iliocarpus and Salmalia species. There is the presence of bamboos, the cans, the ferns and climbers in this forest. Epiphytes are represented by ferns and orchids. These are not climax formations, they occur as a defect subclimax on shallow poor soils. So, we are comparing the tropical semi evergreen forests, the southern type and the northern type. The southern type of the tropical semi evergreen forests are found in western Ghats, where the upper canopy is composed of Terminalia, Dipterocarpus, Balanocarpus and Hoopia. The northern tropical semi evergreen forests are found in high rainfall areas of Assam, Bengal and Odisha. Eastern sub mountain semi evergreen forest, we have the Shima and Bohinia associations. Then we have the sub Himalayan light alluvial semi evergreen forest having the Terminalia. Odisha tropical semi evergreen forest have the predominance of Artocarpus, Mesopharia, Terminalia species. So, group 3 is represented by the tropical moist deciduous forest. These forests are widely distributed covering both in southern and northern states including the western Ghats, Tamil Nadu, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Bihar, West Bengal, Odisha and Uttarakhand. Common in areas where rainfall is 1000 to 2000 millimeter with a dry season of 3 to 4 months. The trees shed their leaves in winter months again become flushed during March and April. These forests comprise 19.73 percent of the India's forest type according to the FSI report 2011. So, we will compare the tropical moist deciduous forests of the southern region and the northern regions. The southern moist deciduous forests are dominated by Tectona grandis, where the northern moist deciduous forests are dominated by Shoria rivesta. The very wet moist sal forest bearing forests occur in Sikkim, West Bengal, the Garo, the Khasi Hills, the Jantia Hills, Assam and Meghalaya. Group 4 is represented by the littoral and swamp forests in India. They occur along the coast in the Andaman and Nicobar, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, Tamil Nadu 
In Andaman, the forests are dominated by Manilkara littoralis. Mangroves are found along the east and west coast of India. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands, the Gulf of Kutch and Khambat in Gujarat. Tropical fresh water swamps such as Maristika swamps forests occur in Travancore, Kerala. Certain species such as Maristika species, Rajasomia species are present. So we are again continuing with the group 4, littoral and swamp forest. They occur in Sundarbans, which is 40 percent of the area in West Bengal, is the largest mangrove in the world. These mangrove forests are generally dominated by trees of genera Rhizospora, Avicennia, Soneratia, Brugera, Cereops and some genera like Heritaeara and Xylocarpus are the tropical dry deciduous forests of India. They are the largest forest types of India covering about 40 percent of the forest area of the country. These forests they occur from Kanyakumari to the foothills of Himalaya in low rainfall areas of 600 to 1200 millimeter per year. There is a marked seasonality in the rainfall and prolonged drought period over the annual cycles. The trees less than 25 meter high with a light demanding canopy consisting of deciduous trees. The southern tropical dry deciduous forests are the dry teak bearing forests of Tectona grandis associated with Boswellia serrata, Anogysis latifolia, Sterculia species and Acacia catechu. Red, dry red sanders bearing forests are dominated by Pterocarpus and Talinus. Southern dry mixed forests are dominated by Boswellia serrata, the dry mixed forest with Tectona grandis. The sandal, the sandalum album bearing shrub forest are also come under this category. The northern tropical dry deciduous forests occur in Bihar, Bangar, Odisha, UP, Haryana. Surya rubesta is a low quality in this forest. Dry, dry peninsular soil forests occur in regions of Bihar, MP. Uh, represented by Pachmadi Plateau, Odisha, UP, West Bengal and Chhattisgarh, uh, that is Amar Kantak National Park, Surya Rupasta is mixed with Boswellia serrata. In this uh, slide, we see the dry deciduous forests in the Kalesar Reserve Forest in Haryana. The forest are dry sivalic Surya Rupasta and dry plain Surya Rupasta forest. These forests are also have the northern dry mixed deciduous forest and the dry riverian forest. So this picture is the northern tropical dry deciduous forest in Kalesar National Park, the Sivalik Surya Rubasta forest and the dry plains Surya Rubasta forest. Group 6, the tropical thorn forest. These forests are found in low rainfall areas of northern India, peninsular India and central India. Moisture availability is limiting for plant growth. The trees experience prolonged dry periods. The southern tropical thorn forests occur in Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh. In South, Haiti, South India, important species are Acacia chandra, Acacia planiferans, and Acacia catechu. So the tropical thorn forests occur in northern tropical thorn forest occur in semi-arid regions of Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, northern Gujarat, MP, UP and Delhi. The desert thorn type consists of Acacia senegal, Prosopis spicegera, Prosopis cinraria, Acacia leucofluia, Acacia nilotica, gigifus species and Salvadora species. Now we come to the group 7. The group 7 is represented by the tropical dry evergreen forests. These forests are restricted in distribution to Karnataka coast, also reported from the east coast in Andhra Pradesh. These are low growing forests, trees are 9 to 12 meter height and form a complete canopy. Most conspicuous trees in this forest are Manilkara, Hexandra, Mamisailon, Iduli, 
along with Diospyros, Eugenia, Chlorozylone, Albasia, Amara. There is a high diversity of trees, shrubs and herbs in this forest. Group 8 is represented by the subtropical broad-leaved hill forests which are largely evergreen, occur in moderately high rainfall areas of 1000 to 3000 millimeter. But in Chirapunji, which is in Meghalaya, northeast India, rainfall is very high, 11,000 millimeter per year. Southern subtropical broad-leaved hill forests in South India, these forests are found in the hill slopes and tops at about 1000 to 1700 meter height in Nilgiri, Palni and Markara hills. Main trees are Calophyllum, Eugenia, Dalbergia latifolia, Anogaisis latifolia, Amblica officinalis, Olea dioca and Phoenix humilis. The group 8 subtropical broad-leaved hill forests of central India these forests are found in the hill tops about 1200 meter in Madhya Pradesh that is the Pachmadi region. Bihar, Odisha, Manikara, Hexandra, Mangifera, Cicisium are conspicuous trees. The northern subtropical broad-leaved hill forests occur in Harnachal Pradesh, Manipur, Mizoram, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Sikkim and West Bengal. In this slide, we see the northern subtropical broad-leaved hill forests from the Manipur region. These forests are dominated by Quercus, Serrata, Eugenia, Shima, Valichiai, Rus, X, and they are located, these forests are from, these forests are from the Imphal region in Manipur. Then in this slide, we see the group 9 type of the subtropical pine forests. The subtropical pine cheer forests occur throughout the central and western Himalaya between 1000 to 1800 meter. They are distributed in Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab and Uttarakhand. Pinus roxburghi along with broad leaved species is the main characteristics of this forest. So, we see a view of the subtropical cheer Pinus roxburghi forest in the Morni Hills in northeast Haryana in this slide. Continuing with the subtropical pine forest, we see the Pinus Kesha forest along with Shima Velichai in the Khasi and Naga Hills and Manipur Hills. The Pinus Kesha is often a pioneer in the deforested secondary vegetation especially if the fire has been factor of the disturbance. So, in this slide, we see a view of the subtropical Pinus Kesha forest in Manipur in northeast India. Group 10, the subtropical dry evergreen forests in the Bhabbar track, the Sewalik hills and the foothills of western Himalaya in Punjab, Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh. Olea cuspidata is found on alluvial ground on wider valleys. In Jammu and Kashmir, the dominant species of these scrub forests are Olea cuspidata, Acacia modesta and Dodonia viscosa. The group 11 is the mountain wet temperate forests. In this, under this category, first we will discuss the southern mountain wet for temperate forest. These forests are found in patches occur in high hills of Tamil Nadu and Kerala on Annamalai, Palni and Trunavelli hills at about 1500 meter upwards. Important species belong to Cicisium species, Michaelia nilgadica and Rhododendron nilgadicum. There is the dense undergrowth, presence of epiphytes and woody climbers. We discussed the northern mountain wet temperate forests. These northern wet temperate forests occur in Bengal, Sikkim, Assam, Manipur and are closed evergreen high forests of large girth classes, medium height, large branching crowns. 
the oak forests are a characteristic of these northern wet temperate forests. The group 11 forest an example of the wet temperate forest. It is from the Ukrul district in Manipur. These are northern wet mountain wet temperate forests and they are dominated by rhododendron arboreum and quercus species located at an altitude of 1900 meter above mean sea level. The group 12 are the Himalayan west temperate forests. These forests extend the whole length of the Himalayan region between the subtropical pine forest and subalpine forest. Altitude ranges from 1500 meter to 3300 meter. These are concentrated in the central and western Himalaya except in areas where rainfall is below 1000 millimeter. Distributed in Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Uttarakhand, Darjeeling district of West Bengal and Sikkim. So, we are continuing with the group 2, 12. It is Himalayan moist temperate forest. There are several species of the oaks that are present in this forest. Most citrus devdara forests form pure stands. The upper form consists of Abis pindros, Picea smithiana and Corcus semicarpifolia. The eastern Himalayan hills are occupied by several species of the Quercus and Rhododendron species. So, in this slide we see a view of the Himalayan most temperate forest from the Munsiari region of Pithoragar in Kumau Himalayas. It is dominated by the oak species. In this slide we see the Himalayan moist temperate forest, a view of the Himalayan moist temperate forest dominated by Quercus semicarpifolia. It is from the Rudarprayag region at a height of 2700 meter altitude. The moist Himalayan temperate forest, it is a evergreen citrus devdara forest surrounding the Khajiar lake located at 1920 meter above mean sea level in Khajiar, Chamba district of Himachal Pradesh in western Himalaya. So, we see a beautiful view of the citrus devdara forest uh, in this uh, Khajiar region. So, group 12 is the Himalayan dry temperate forest. In this forest, the conifers are predominant, distributed on 1700 to 3000 meter altitude in the inner ranges of the Himalaya. Rainfall is usually less than 1000 millimeter, mostly received as snow in winter months. These forests are distributed in Kashmir, Ladakh, Lahul, Chamba, Inner Garhwal and Sikkim. In western Himalaya, the characteristic species are Pinus girardiana, Citrus devdara, Juniperus. At higher elevation, Abyss pindros and Pinus velichiana are found. In the eastern Himalaya, the common species are Abyss and Picea. In higher hills, Juniperus velichiana is common. Now we move on to group 14, which is the Salpal Pine Forest. These forests occur throughout the Himalaya above 3000 meter elevation up to the tree limit. Rainfall is low. The forests are mainly evergreen. Rhododendron is common constituent. Tall trees are conifers. Betula utilis is present as the largest deciduous tree and associated with genera like Quercus semicarpifolia, Sorbus and Rhododendron species. Western Himalaya subalpine forests, the Abyss spectabilis and Metula utilis. The second type of the forests are the West Himalayan subalpine birch and fir forest. In Eastern Himalaya, Abyss densa and Betula utilis and Rhododendron species are present. These are climax formations self-generating with marked resilience. 
Group 15 are the moist alpine scrub. Moist alpine scrub occurs throughout the Himalaya above the timber line to 5500 meter altitude. Distributed in Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Sikkim, Manipur. Composed entirely of species of rhododendron with some birch and other deciduous trees and dwarfs, juniper, scrub. In Kumau, Uttarakhand, Vatula, Utilis and rhododendron, Compendulate and scrub forest occur. Group 16, the dry alpine scrub. It is a geophytic formation having predominance of dirt shrubs, rainfall less than 370 millimeter per year up to 5500 meter altitude. These scrub forests are distributed in Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and Arunachal Pradesh. Characteristics plants are Juniperus belliciana, Donicera species and Potentilla species. So, to conclude this lecture, we summarize that there are 16 forest types in India based on temperature and moisture regimes. The tropical wet evergreen forests are found in western Ghats, northeastern India and Andaman and Nicobar. Tropical dry deciduous forests are largest forest type of India covering about 40 percent of the forest area. Himalayan moist temperate forests occur in northern India at an altitude ranging from 1500 meter to 3300 meter. Several species of oak predominate in temperate forests. The subalpine forests occur in the Himalaya above 3000 meter elevation up to the tree limit. Thank you.